Who was Mr. Ed? Mr. Ed was the the talking horse and a star of a television show in the 1960s. When he appeared to talk, the horse was actually responding to cues from his trainer. Movement of a small rope running from his halter through his mouth and held by. The trainer off camera would cause Ed to move his lips as if he were speaking. In the real world, so far only birds have been able to mimic human speech. What is cholesterol? Cholesterol belongs to the subclass of lipids known as steroids. Steroids have a unique chemical structure. They are built from four carbon-laden ring structures that are fused together. The human body uses cholesterol to maintain the strength and flexibility of cell membranes. Cholesterol is also the molecule from which steroid hormones and bile acids are built. What is coevolution? Coevolution is a rare form of evolution. By definition, it requires that two species adapt to evolutionary changes occurring in each other. An example of this reciprocal adaptation would be the development of mutualistic relationships between plants and the insects that prey upon them. As the plant develops defenses, like the oils of species in the mustard family, the insects develop counter weapons. Cabbage butterflies have metabolic adaptations that can safely break down these toxic compounds. What are the two most common media to grow bacteria? Beef extract and peptones, hydrolyzed protein, are the basic ingredients of nutrient broth. These materials supply a variety of carbon sources. Nitrogen compounds in the form of amino acids, and a mixture of cofactors such as vitamins. The addition of agar, a complex carbohydrate extracted from seaweed, results in a solid medium. Agar is an ideal solidifying agent for microbiological media because of its melting properties and because it has no nutritive value for the vast majority of bacteria. Solid agar melts at 194 to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, 90 to 100 degrees Celsius, Liquid agar solidifies at about 103 degrees Fahrenheit 42 degrees Celsius. Why are bacteria known as pollution fighters? through a process known as bioremediation. Bacteria are able to degrade many pollutants found in soil and water. They are also capable of altering a harmful substance so it becomes harmless or even beneficial to its environment.
scientists are working to improve bacteria's efficiency as a natural pollution fighter. Which club moss is threatened with extinction? Many club mosses are attractive plants often used as Christmas decorations or in floral wreaths. The species Lycopodium newtons, which is native to Hawaii and is known commonly known as Verweioie, is threatened with extinction and has been placed on the endangered species list. What are the shortest and longest chromosomes? Among human chromosomes, the length ranges from 50 to 250 million base pairs. The longest chromosome is chromosome 1, with 300 million bases, approximately 10% of the human genome and the shortest is chromosome 21, with 50 million bases. How does an in vivo study differ from an in vitro study? An in vivo study uses living biological organisms and specimens. In contrast, an in vitro biological study is carried out in isolation from a living organism. Such as in a petri dish or test tube. What happens to the proteins present in an egg when it is cooked? The white of an egg is rich in the protein albumin. When subjected to high heat, the bonds that form the three-dimensional structure of albumin are irreversibly changed. This causes the clear, jelly-like consistency of the egg to become firm and white. This process is known as protein denaturation. Proteins may also be denatured by a change in the pH value of the fluid surrounding them or by the addition of chemical detergents. Most denaturation is irreversible, however. Scientists can use partial or temporary denaturation to control the action of enzymes used in experiments. What are aerial roots? Aerial roots are adventitious roots formed on above-ground structures such as stems. Aerial roots serve different functions in different species. In some species, such as the banyan tree, ficus bengalensis, and red mangrove, rhizophora mangle, the aerial roots are called prop roots since they support the plant. The aerial roots of ivy, heterohelix, ball moss, Tillandsia recurvata, and Spanish moss. Tillandsia usneoides cling to the surface of an object providing support for the stem. The aerial roots of the vanilla orchid, vanilla planifolia, and philodendron are photosynthetic.
What are bioluminescent bacteria? Bioluminescence is the production of light, with very little heat. By some organisms. The light emitting substance, luciferin, in most species is an organic molecule that emits. Light when it is oxidized by molecular oxygen in the presence of an enzyme, luciferase. The enzyme picks up electrons from flavoproteins in the electron transport chain and then emits some of the electron's energy as a photon of light. Bioluminescence is primarily a marine phenomenon occurring in many regions of oceans or seas. One example is the Milky Sea found in the Indian Ocean, where the sea appears to have a soft, white glow. Why are proteins among the most complex molecules? Among the major bioorganic molecules. Only proteins require up to four levels of structure in order to be functional. In addition, Relatively slight environmental changes cause a shift in structural levels that may be sufficient to radically change the function of the protein. The structural levels of protein and the functions they provide are Primary, a polypeptide chain of up to 500 amino acids covalently bonded. Secondary, the formation of hydrogen bonds between nearby amino acids causes the polypeptide chain to twist and slash or pleat. Tertiary, distant amino acids form bonds and associations. In reaction to changes that occur in the secondary level. Quaternary, Two separate polypeptide chains intermingle to form a molecule that has a larger, more complex structure than that found in the other protein levels. What is the Krebs cycle? The Krebs cycle, also referred to as the citric acid cycle, is central to aerobic metabolism. It is an adaptation that allows cells to gain increased energy from glucose. The process is critical to the development of multicellular organisms. And is essential to the harvesting of high energy electrons during the final breakdown of the glucose molecule. Byproducts of this cycle are carbon dioxide and water. It is named in recognition of the German chemist Hans Krebs. 1900 to 1981, who received the 1953 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. How do stomach cells survive the acid in the stomach? The cells that line your stomach produce a basic, alkaline mucus. The mucus has a higher pH that counteracts the acid produced by the stomach which has a pH of 2.0. Because of this. Cells are protected from the digestive enzymes at work in the stomach. If stomach acid manages to reach the tissue below the protective mucus layer, ulcers can result.
what determines the type of bond that forms between atoms? The electron structure of an atom is the best predictor of its chemical behavior. Atoms with filled outer shells tend not to form bonds. However, those atoms with 1, 2, 6, or 7 electrons in the outer shell tend to become ions and form ionic bonds. Atoms with greater than 2 or less than 6 electrons tend to form covalent bonds. What is the largest jellyfish? The largest jellyfish is the genus Cyania capillata. It may be more than 6.5 feet 2 meters in diameter and have tentacles of 98 feet. 30 m, long and is among the largest invertebrates. What are the parts of a leaf? Leaves, outgrowths of the shoot apex, are found in a variety of shapes, sizes, and arrangements. Most leaves have a blade, a petiole, stipules, and veins. The blade is the flattened portion of the leaf. The petiole is the slender stalk of the leaf. How has biotechnology helped thalidomide become popular again? The drug thalidomide was developed during the 1950s. It was found to be effective in combating the symptoms of morning sickness in pregnant women. Unfortunately, if taken during the first trimester of pregnancy. Thalidomide causes serious limb deformities because it interferes with the normal growth process of the fetus. Recently, it was discovered that the drug also has the ability to interfere with the replication of HIV in human cells. Thalidomide also may prevent the weight loss commonly associated with AIDS. Thalidomide actually has two mirror image forms, chirality, only one of which causes birth defects. Researchers hope that by using biotechnology they will be able to separate the forms and return thalidomide to their arsenal of disease-fighting chemicals once again. Who first suggested that apes could use language? Samuel Pepys, 1633-1703, famous for his 17th century diary. Wrote about what he called a baboon and suggested that it might be taught to speak or make signs. How do salmon find the way to their spawning grounds? Scientists do not know exactly how a salmon remembers the way back to its native stream. After an ocean journey possibly lasting several years and covering several thousand miles. They agree, however that salmon, 
like homing pigeons, appear to have an innate compass or search recognition mechanism that operates independently of astronomical or physical signs. Some scientists theorize that this internal compass uses the infinitely small electrical voltages generated by the ocean currents as they travel through the Earth's magnetic field. Others believe that the salmon's homing mechanism may take its cues from the varying salinities of the water or specific smells encountered along the journey. What is the origin of the term cell? The term cell was first used by Robert Hooke, 1635-1703, an English scientist who described cells he observed in a slice of cork in 1665, using a microscope that magnified 30 times. Hooke identified little chambers or compartments in the cork that he called celluli. A Latin term meaning little rooms because they reminded him of the cells inhabited by monks. It is from this word that we got the modern term cell. He calculated that one square inch of cork would contain 1,259,712,000 of these tiny chambers or cells. Why do we have seasons? Seasons are due to two factors, one, Earth's inclination on its axis, and two, the distance of Earth from the Sun. Making days longer for the hemisphere that is tilted away from the Sun during any given period. What animal has the largest home range? The home range of an adult polar bear may cover an area of 20,000 square miles 50,000 square kilometers. This is an area about the size of Nova Scotia in Canada. The home range of each polar bear varies due to food availability and condition of the ice. What is the most important structural difference between gram-negative bacteria and gram-positive bacteria? The most important structural difference between gram-negative and gram-positive bacteria is that gram-negative bacteria are enclosed by two biliarse cytoplasmic membrane and an outer membrane. Between the two membranes lies a thin peptidoglycan layer that is linked to the outer membrane. In contrast, gram-positive bacteria have a thick layer of peptidoglycan. The cell wall of gram-positive bacteria is between 2 to 8 times as thick as the cell wall of gram-negative bacteria. The thinness of the cell wall of gram-negative bacteria affects the bacteria's ability to retain the crystal violetiodine complex of the gram stain. What are the main components of chloroplasts? Chloroplasts have outer and inner membranes, which are in close association with each other. 
They also have a closed compartment of stacked membranes called 46 granite that lie inside the inner membrane. A chloroplast may contain 100 or more grana, and each grana may contain a few to several dozen disc-shaped structures called thylakoids that contain chlorophyll on their surface. The fluid that surrounds the thylakoid is called the stroma. What is the Lyon Hypothesis? The Lyon Hypothesis refers directly to a bar body. It was proposed by Mary Lyon, 1925, in 1961 that a bar body is actually an inactivated X chromosome. According to this hypothesis, female mammals sequester one X chromosome in each of their cells during the early stages of development. This folded chromosome becomes the dark body of Barr's observation. This means that both males and females rely on the information from only a single X chromosome. Therefore, it is only one X chromosome that provides genetic information in both males and females. How much do plants contribute to the human diet? In the United States and Western Europe approximately 65% of a human being's total caloric intake and 35% of consumed protein are obtained from plants or plant products. Soybeans are an example of a plant with high protein content. In developing nations almost 90% of calories and more then 80% of protein in a person's diet are from plants. How does sickle cell anemia affect the function of red blood cells? The genetic defect in sickle cell anemia is a mutation in one of the polypeptide chains that comprise the hemoglobin molecule. The abnormal molecule produced in sickle cell anemia causes a change in the shape of affected red blood cells. The disease morphs a typically rounded red blood cell disc into a crescent or sickle shape. The abnormal red blood cells affected by sickle cell anemia are rigid and are more likely to clump together. Because of their tendency to group, they are more prone to sticking to the walls of blood vessels. They can even block the blood vessels themselves. Because of this, the hemoglobin molecule isn't able to carry oxygen as well as the cells need it to. What is a climax community? Terrestrial communities of organisms move through a series of stages from bare earth or rock to forests of mature trees. This last stage is described as the climax because it is thought that if left undisturbed, communities can remain in this stage in perpetuity. 
however, more recent studies suggest that climax may be only one part of a continuous cycle of successional stages in these communities. What is the most destructive insect in the world? The most destructive insect is the desert locust, Schistosura gregaria. The locust of the Bible, whose habitat ranges from the dry and semi-arid regions of Africa and the Middle East through Pakistan and northern India. This shorthorn grasshopper can eat its own weight in food a day. And during long migratory flights a large swarm can consume 20,000 tons, 18,144,000 kilograms, of grain and vegetation a day. In what ways are gymnosperms economically important? Gymnosperms account for approximately 75% of the world's timber and a large amount of the wood pulp used to make paper. In North America the white spruce, Pasea glauca, is the main source of pulp wood used for newsprint and other paper. Other spruce wood is used by to manufacture violins and similar. String instruments because the wood produces a desired resonance. The Douglas fir, Pseudotsuga menziesii, provides more timber than any other North American tree species and produces some of the most desirable lumber in the world. The wood is strong and relatively free of knots. Uses for the wood include house framing plywood production, structural beams, pulpwood, railroad ties, boxes, and crates. Since most naturally occurring areas of growth have been harvested, the Douglas fir is being grown in managed forests. The wood from the redwood Sequoia sempervirens is used for furniture. Fences, posts, some construction, and has various garden uses. In addition to the wood and paper industry, gymnosperms are important in making resin and turpentine. Resin, the sticky substance in the resin canals of conifers, is a combination of turpentine, a solvent, and a waxy substance called rosin. Turpentine is an excellent paint and varnish solvent but is also used to make deodorants. Shaving lotions, medications, and limonene lemon flavoring used in the food industry. Resin has many uses, it is used by baseball pitchers to improve their grip on the ball and by batters to improve their grip on the bat. Violinists apply resin to their bows to increase friction with the strings. Dancers apply resin to their shoes to improve their grip on the stage. What are the main features of bryophytes? Bryophytes are generally small, compact plants that rarely grow to more than 8 in, 20 centimeters, tall. They have parts that appear leaf-like, stem-like, and root-like, and lack vascular tissue, xylem and phloem. Most species have rhizoids, a cuticle, 
a cellular jacket to retain moisture around. Sperm producing and egg producing structures, and large gametophytes that hold onto sporophytes. They require water to reproduce sexually. In nature, they are noted for their intense shades of green. How can animal behavior be categorized? Animal behavior can be sorted into broad categories, e. g. courtship, feeding, or into more specific patterns, example attack, chase, aggressiveness. What contributions did John and William Bartram make to botany? John Bartram, 1699-1777, was the first American-born botanist. He and his son, William Bartram, 1739-1823, traveled throughout the American colonies observing the flora and fauna of the colonies. Although John Bartram never published his observations, he was considered the authority on American plants. In 1791 his son William 160 published his notes on American plants and animals as Bartram's travels. Who developed the gram stain and why is it important? Staining is a process in which a scientist colors a microorganism with a dye that emphasizes certain structure. The Gram stain was developed in 1884 by Hans Christian Gram, 1853-1938. A Danish physician who worked at a hospital in Berlin, Germany. The gram stain is one of the first steps in the identification of bacteria and is used to categorize bacteria into two major groups, gram-positive and gram-negative. When the gram stain is combined with other information on cellular morphology and biochemical characteristics, conclusive identification of an unknown type of bacteria can usually be made. The gram stain is the most widely used stain in microbiology. Where are fungi found? Fungi grow best in dark, moist habitats, but they can be found wherever organic material is available. Moisture is necessary for their growth. And they can obtain water from the atmosphere as well as from the medium upon which they live. When the environment becomes very dry, fungi survive by going into a resting stage or by producing spores that are resistant to drying. The optimum pH for most species is 5.6, but some fungi can tolerate and grow in pH levels ranging from 2 to 9. Certain fungi can grow in concentrated salt solutions or sugar solutions such as jelly or jam, which cannot sustain bacterial growth. Fungi also thrive in a wide range of temperatures. Even refrigerated food may be susceptible to fungal invasion.
What do spores look like? Spores vary greatly in size, shape, color, and surface texture. They are generally small. On average, they are usually less than 20. And rarely exceed more than 100 micrometers approximately one-tenth the thickness of a dime. What is cultural evolution? Instead of changing at the molecular level, in the sequence of our genes. The history of Homo sapiens has been marked by what is rare in other animals, cultural evolution. Culture is passed from one generation to the next, and by changing our culture, we have been able to adapt to our environment without requiring structural changes. One example of cultural evolution is the emphasis placed on the use of soap and water to prevent disease. Adopting this cultural tradition has had a definite positive impact on the survival of human populations. And yet there have been no changes that would be visible in the fossil record of our species. What is the electromagnetic spectrum? The electromagnetic spectrum is the range of wavelengths. It ranges from gamma rays with very short wavelengths, 10 to 5. And high energy through radio waves with longer wavelengths, 103 meters, and less energy. Visible light, seen as color, occurs between 380 and 750. Ultraviolet light has a shorter wavelength, while infrared light has a greater wavelength. What is Darwinian fitness? Darwinian fitness is measured as the average representation of one allele or genotype. In the next generation of a population as compared to other alleles or genotypes. In other words, those alleles, or genotypes that become more common within the population are more fit. What is an ion? An ion is an atom that is charged by the loss or gain of electrons. For example, when an atom gains one or more electrons, it becomes negatively charged. When an atom loses one or more electrons, it becomes positively charged. What are the differences between smooth, skeletal, and cardiac muscle tissue? Smooth muscle tissue is organized into sheets of long cells shaped like spindles. Each cell contains a single nucleus. Smooth muscle tissue lines the walls of the digestive tract. Stomach and intestines, blood vessels, urinary bladder, and iris of the eye. 
Smooth muscle contraction is involuntary since it occurs without intervention of the animal. Skeletal muscle tissue consists of numerous, very long muscle fibers that lie parallel to each other. Since the muscle fibers are formed by the fusion of several muscle cells. Each long fiber has many nuclei. Muscle fibers have alternating light and dark bands, giving the appearance of a striped or striated fiber. Tendons attach skeletal muscles to the bone. When skeletal muscles contract, they cause the bone to move at the joint. Skeletal muscles are voluntary since the animal consciously contracts them. Skeletal muscles allow animals to move, lift, and utter sounds. Cardiac muscle tissue is found in the hearts of vertebrates. It consists of striated muscle fibers like skeletal. Muscle tissue but is involuntary like smooth muscle tissue. The cardiac muscle tissue consists of small, interconnected cells, each with a single nucleus. The ends of the cells form a tight lattice work. Allowing signals to spread from cell to cell and causing the heart to contract. What is the accuracy of DNA fingerprinting? The accuracy of DNA fingerprinting depends on the number of VNTR or STR loci that are used. At present the FBI uses 13 STR loci in its profile. With the expected frequency of this profile to be less than 1 in 10 billion. As the number of loci analyzed increases, the probability of a random match becomes smaller. What is the difference between altricial and precocial offspring? Altricial and precocial are terms used to describe the development of young birds at hatching. Hatchlings that are able to find and consume their own food and have at least minimal anti-predator defenses are described as precocial. Offspring requiring extensive parental care, like humans, are altricial. Examples of precocial non-mammalian species include chickens and the young of game birds. Examples of altricial non-mammalian species include songbirds, woodpeckers, and hummingbirds. How is cell cloning used in scientific research? Cell cloning is the process by which an exact copy is made of a cell. This cellular process is known as mitosis and is required for the growth and repair of multicellular organisms. Different types of cells in the body differ in their ability to perform mitosis. Some cells, like skin cells, produce clones quite often. Others, like those of the nervous system, will not reproduce after they have reached maturity and have differentiated. The scientific purpose of cloning is to produce many copies of certain types of cells that can then be used for a variety of purposes, like basic research or the growth of replacement organs.
What is the carbon cycle? To survive, every organism must have access to carbon atoms. Carbon makes up about 49% of the dry weight of organisms. The carbon cycle includes movement of carbon from the gaseous phase. Carbon dioxide CO2 in the atmosphere, to solid phase. Carbon containing compounds in living organisms, and then back to the atmosphere via decomposers. The atmosphere is the largest reservoir of carbon, containing 32% CO2. Biological Processes on land shuttle carbon between atmospheric and terrestrial compartments. With photosynthesis removing CO2 from the atmosphere and cell respiration returning CO2 to the atmosphere. How much garbage does the average American generate? According to the Environmental Protection Agency, nearly 232 million tons of municipal waste was generated in 2000. This is equivalent to 4.6 pounds 2.1 kilograms per person per day, or approximately 1,700 pounds 770 kilograms per person per year. What are effective and efficient types of pollination? Effective pollination occurs when viable pollen is transferred to a plant stigmas. Ovule bearing organs, or ovules, seed precursors. Without pollination, there would be no fertilization. Since plants are immobile organisms, they usually need external agents to transport their pollen from where it is produced in the plant to where fertilization can occur. This situation produces cross-pollination. Wherein one plant's pollen is moved by an agent to another plant's stigma. Some plants are able to self-pollinate to transfer their own pollen to their own stigmas. But of the two methods, Cross-pollination seems more advantageous. For it allows new genetic material to be introduced. Cross-pollination agents include insects, wind, birds, mammals, and water. Many times flowers offer one or more rewards to attract these agents sugary nectar. Oil, solid food bodies, perfume, a place to sleep, or sometimes the pollen itself. Other times the plant can trap the agent into transporting the pollen. Generally, plants use color and fragrances as attractants to lure these agents. For example, a few orchids use a combination of smell and color to mimic the female of certain species of bees and wasps so successfully that the corresponding males will attempt to mate with them. Through this process, pseudocopulation, the orchids achieve pollination. While some plants cater to a variety of agents. Other plants are very selective and are pollinated by a single species of insect only. This extreme pollinator specificity tends to maintain the purity of a plant species. Plant structure can accommodate the type of agent used. For example, 
plants such as grasses and conifers, whose pollen is carried by the wind. Tend to have a simple structure lacking petals, with freely exposed and branched stigmas. To catch airborne pollen and dangling anthers, pollen producing parts, on long filaments. This type of anther allows the light round pollen to be easily caught by the wind. These plants are found in areas such as prairies and mountains, where insect agents are rare. In contrast, semi enclosed, non symmetrical, long lived flowers such as irises, roses, and snapdragons have a landing platform and nectar in the flower base to accommodate insect agents such as the bee. The sticky, Abundant pollen can easily become attached to the insect to be borne away to another flower. How is a DNA molecule held together? Although DNA is held together by several different kinds of chemical interactions, it is still a rather fragile molecule. The nitrogen bases that constitute the rungs of the ladder are held together by hydrogen bonds. The sides of the ladder, the phosphate and deoxyribose molecules, are held together by a type of covalent bond called a phosphodiester bond. Because part of the DNA molecule is polar, the outside of the ladder, and the rungs, nitrogen bases, are nonpolar, there are other interactions called hydrostatic. Interactions that occur between the hydrogen and oxygen atoms of DNA and water. The internal part of the DNA tends to repel water, while the external sugar phosphate molecules tend to attract water. This creates a kind of molecular pressure that glues the helix together. What is eutrophication? Eutrophication is a process in which the supply of plant nutrients in a lake or pond is increased. In time, the result of natural eutrophication may be dry land where water once flowed. Caused by plant overgrowth Natural fertilizers, washed from the soil Result in an accelerated growth of plants producing overcrowding. As the plants die off, the dead and decaying vegetation depletes the lake oxygen supply, causing fish to die. The accumulated dead plant and animal material eventually changes a deep lake to a shallow one, then to a swamp, and finally it becomes dry land. While the process of eutrophication is a natural one, it has been accelerated enormously by human activities. Fertilizers from farms, sewage, industrial wastes, and some detergents all contribute to the problem. What is convergent evolution? Convergent evolution occurs when diverse species develop similar adaptations in response to the same environmental pressure. 
for example, dolphins and sharks are descended from different ancestors. But as a result of sharing an aquatic environment, they have similar adaptations in body shape. What are the properties of cork that make it ideal for a variety of commercial uses? Cork consists of densely packed cells, about 1 million cells per cubic centimeter. That contain the plant wax suberin, making cork impermeable to liquids and gases. Half of its volume is trapped air. Therefore, it is four times lighter than water. It is virtually indestructible, fire resistant. And durable, resists friction, and absorbs vibration and sound. Among cork's uses are as stoppers for wine bottles. Insulation for the space shuttle and grips on symphony conductors' batons. What are the differences between an open and a closed circulatory system? In an open circulatory system, found in many invertebrates, E. G. Spiders, crayfish, and grasshoppers, the blood is not always contained within the blood vessels. Periodically, the blood leaves the blood vessels to bathe the tissues with blood and then returns to the heart. There is no interstitial body fluid separate from the blood. A closed circulatory system, also called a cardiovascular system, is found in all vertebrate animals and many invertebrates, in a closed system the blood never leaves the blood vessels. How are ants distinguished from termites? Both insect orders ants, order Hymenoptera, and termites. Order Isoptera, have segmented bodies with multi-jointed legs. Listed below are some differences. What are some of the tests scientists use to identify major types of organic compounds in living organisms? Scientists use different tests to detect the presence of carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Commonly used tests include the Benedict's test for reducing sugars. The iodine test for starch, the Bayerit test for proteins. The Sudan 4 test and the grease spot test for lipids, and the disc diphenylamine test for nucleic acids. What is cDNA? Complementary DNA, cDNA, is single-stranded DNA that is complementary to a certain sequence of messenger RNA. It is usually formed in a laboratory by the action of the enzyme reverse transcriptase on a messenger RNA template. 
Complementary DNA is a popular tool for molecular hybridization or cloning studies. How were the White Cliffs of Dover, England, formed? The White Cliffs of Dover are composed of a variety of protist fossil shells. Including coccolithophores, a type of algae, and foraminiferans. The shells of dead foraminiferans are deposited on the bottom of the ocean and go on to form grey mud. The grey mud is gradually transformed into limestone, chalk. Geologic uplifting brings the formations of limestone up to land. What is dry rot? Dry rot is a misleading common name for this form of decay since one of the primary requirements for fungal decay is moisture. This form of decay is referred to as dry rot because it is found in wood that is not visibly moist or damp. The fungus Serpula lacrimans produces specialized mycelia that enable it to carry water and nutrients. From a location with the conditions necessary for decay to locations where these conditions are not met. Mycelia can carry water and nutrients up to 15 feet 4.5 meters, across materials such as stone and concrete. The environmental requirements for the fungus are humid air with a relative humidity greater than 95% and temperatures between 32 degrees and 82 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees and 28 degrees Celsius. Serpula lacrimans is common in wooden buildings of Europe, Asia, Australia, and Japan. It is uncommon in North America, although a related fungus. Marulaporia incrassate, causes similar damage that is not as extensive. What is cladogenesis? Cladogenesis is the formation of a group of species that share a common ancestor. Cladogenesis can occur as a result of adaptive radiation, which is the divergence or splitting of one species into several. What is a strain? A strain or variety is a subcategory of a species. For example, Gregor Mendel's 1822-1884 work with garden peas involved various strains. One strain had purple flowers while another had white. What is the difference between saturated and unsaturated fat? Fat is a type of lipid molecule constructed by glycerol and three fatty acids. The molecular structure of the fatty acids determines whether the fat is saturated or unsaturated. Fats with hydrogen atoms but without double bonds are saturated. Unsaturated fatty acids have double bonds, and therefore have fewer hydrogen atoms.
What is a nucleotide analog? Nucleotide analogs are compounds that look like the nucleotides in DNA. They are used as antiviral compounds because the nucleic acids assembled with these analogs fall apart. Therefore, the viral genome cannot be copied and the infection cycle is broken. AZT is an example of a drug that interferes with HIV's ability to replicate its genome. By substituting azidothymidine for thymidine, thus terminating viral DNA reproduction. What is DNA sequence analysis? DNA sequence analysis is part of a subfield of genomics known as structural genomics. DNA sequence analysis results in a complete description of a DNA molecule in terms of its order of nitrogen bases, adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine. All sequencing projects are based on a similar technology, DNA fragmentation with restriction endonucleases. Cloning of the DNA fragments, and overlapping analysis of the fragments to eventually provide a map. What are the stages of insect metamorphosis? There are two types of metamorphoses. Mark structural changes in the growth processes complete and incomplete. In complete metamorphosis the insect, such as an ant, moth, butterfly, termite, wasp, or beetle, goes through all the distinct stages of growth to reach adulthood. In incomplete metamorphosis the insect, such as a grasshopper, cricket, or louse, does not go through all the stages of complete metamorphoses. Complete metamorphosis. Egg. One egg is laid at a time or many, as much as 10,000. Larva, what hatches from the eggs is called a larva. A larva can look like a worm. Pupa. After reaching its full growth, the larva hibernates. Developing a shell or pupal case for protection. A few insects, example the moth, spin a hard covering called a cocoon. The resting insect is called a pupa, except the butterfly is called a chrysalis and remains in the hibernation state for several weeks or months. Adult, during hibernation, the insect develops its adult body parts. When it has matured physically, the fully grown insect emerges from its case or cocoon. Incomplete metamorphosis. Egg, one egg or many eggs are laid. Early stage nymph, hatched insect resembles an adult but is smaller in size. However, those insects that would normally have wings have not yet developed them. Late stage nymph, at this time the skin begins to mold, shed, and the wings begin to bud. Adult, the insect is now fully grown. What are the main components of the nucleus?
the boundary around the nucleus consists of two membranes. An inner one and an outer one, that form the nuclear envelope. Nuclear pores are small openings in the nuclear envelope that permit molecules to move between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. The nucleolus is a prominent structure within the nucleus. The nucleoplasm is the interior space of the nucleus. In addition, the DNA bearing chromosomes of the cell are found in the nucleus. The nucleus is the repository for the cell's genetic information and the control center for the expression of that information. Why are there so many flies in the summer? Another way to ask this question would be, what is an opportunistic species? Species have evolved two general strategies for success in life. Either they specialize in adaptations that allow them to survive the boom and bust cycles within the environment. Or they concentrate their efforts in taking advantage of short-term opportunities to succeed. Species utilizing these two strategies have various names including opportunist and equilibrium species. Opportunists move into newly opened habitats, for example. As dandelions overwhelm spring lawns, and reproduce rapidly with abandon. Other common examples of opportunistic species include insect species. Like mosquitoes and flies that save their reproductive efforts to exploit. Advantageous changes in their habitat like a hard rain or fresh road kill. When conditions are just right, these species go full tilt from mere existence to population explosion. Which explains why fly populations boom so suddenly in the summer. Who coined the term chromatography? The Russian-Italian biochemist Mikhail Semyonovich Tsvet, or Tsvet. 1872-1919, coined the term chromatography and published the first paper on the method in 1903. The term comes from the Greek words chroma. Meaning color, and graphine, meaning writing or drawing. What is the difference between type I and type 2 diabetes? Diabetes mellitus is a hormonal disease that occurs when the body cells are unable to absorb glucose from the blood. Type I is insulin dependent diabetes mellitus, IDDM. And type 2 is non insulin dependent diabetes mellitus, NIDDM. In type I diabetes, there is an absolute deficiency of insulin. In type 2 diabetes, insulin secretion may be normal. But the target cells for insulin are less responsive than normal. What are the most primitive animals that have been studied for their behavior? Sponges are the most primitive animals studied for their behavior. 
investigations have shown that sponges in their natural environment may move away from physical contact with competitors, areas with limited food, or sites that have excessive exposure to silt abrasion by water flows. What protects the shoot tip as it pushes through the soil? Many seedlings form a bend or hook in their hypocotyls to protect the delicate shoot tip. The shoot tip is pulled rather than pushed through the soil. What are some vertebrate endocrine glands and their hormones? There are 10 major endocrine glands in vertebrates. What kinds of behavior do protozoans exhibit? Protozoans react to changes in their immediate environment. But there is no evidence for any type of learning. For example, paramecia will avoid a strong chemical or physical stimulus by turning to locate an escape route. An example of a negative stimulus is cool water. Which paramecia will swim away from since they prefer warmer temperatures? Who was Ernst Haeckel? Ernst Haeckel, 1834 to 1919 was a physician who became a fervent evolutionist after reading on the origin of species. Although he differed with Charles Darwin over natural selection as the primary mode of evolution, Heckel is best known for his attempts to tie the stages of development to the stages of evolution. Ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny. He thought that each stage of the developmental process was a depiction of an evolutionary ancestor. Haeckel is also credited with coining the terms phylum, phylogeny, and ecology. Who was the first person to study populations mathematically? Thomas Robert Malthus, 1766 to 1834, in 1798 attempted to inform people that the human population, like any other population, had the potential to increase exponentially. Malthusian ideas were not well received. As he predicted the rate of population growth would exceed the ability of the land to produce food. His work was later used by Charles Darwin to explain his theory of natural selection. What are the major groups of mollusks? There are four major groups of mollusks, one, Chitons, 2. Gastropods, which includes nails, slugs, and nudibranchs, 3. Bivalves, which include clams, 
oysters and mussels and for cephalopods, which include squids and octopods. Although mollusks vary widely in external appearance, most share the following body plan, 1, a muscular foot, usually used for movement, 2, a visceral mass containing most of the internal organs, and 3, a mantle fold of tissue that drapes over the visceral mass and secretes a shell, in organisms that have a shell. What is microevolution? Microevolution is the change in allelic frequencies that occurs at the level of the population or species. When individuals with certain traits are more successful at reproduction, the ensuing generation will have more copies of that trait. Should the trend continue, eventually the traits will become so common in the population that the population profile will change. This is microevolution. What are the main types of asexual spores? The main types of asexual spores among the fungi are arthrospores, chlamydospores, sporangiospores, and conidia, from the Greek word konidios, meaning dust. Conidia and sporangiospores are produced from a fruiting body. Neither arthrospores nor chlamydospores involve a fruiting body. Arthrospores, from the Greek term arthro, meaning joint, are formed by fragmentation of the hyphae. Chlamydospores are formed along the margin of the hyphae. They are thick-walled spores. Which tree species from the United States have lived the longest? Of the 850 different species of trees in the United States, the oldest species is the bristle cone pine, Pinus longava. This species grows in the deserts of Nevada and Southern California, particularly in the White Mountains. Some of these trees are believed to be over 4,600 years old. The potential lifespan of these pines is estimated to be 5,500 years. But potential age of the bristle cone pine is very young when compared to the oldest surviving species in the world, the maidenhair tree, Ginkgo biloba, of China. This species of tree first appeared during the Jurassic era, some 160 million years ago. Also called Ico, or the Ginkyo, meaning silver apricot. This species has been cultivated in Japan since 1100 BCE.